Mother, what is going on? Why did you ask to see me now? I just got a notice from the district attorney of Houston. Your Uncle Paul is out of jail after being acquitted of that child rape charge he was facing. He claimed he had been framed, that the video footage taken was of someone resembling him and that it had been submitted by a jealous rival wanting to replace him as principal of the Christian Way Academy in Houston. And the jury believed him. Oh no. I do remember visiting that school and I noticed that Uncle Paul and Victoria Mueller disliked each other. It didn't help that they belonged to competing cults. But even I never thought Victoria would fake something to frame him. I'm sure she didn't. But it should be noted that the it wasn't me, but my doppelganger defense worked for R. Kelly. And he was actually a pervert. And he finally did go to prison for his acts of sexual abuse. After abusing more young girls, of course. And who did my uncle say was the actual rapist? He didn't say. All he had to do was cast reasonable doubt about the prosecution's case against him. As a defense attorney myself, that was my job in most court cases. Sure, that makes sense if the suspect is actually innocent. But acquitting the guilty is unjust. People like R. Kelly and your Uncle Paul do not stop abusing children unless they are forced to stop. So if the leaders of the company running the Christian Way Academies hire him again, he will be a threat to kids. And sure enough, in Arlington, Texas. Welcome back. Now that you have beaten the trumped up charge that was thrown at you, and Victoria Miller is no longer a threat to you, I will have you hired to be the principal of the new branch of the Christian Way Academies we will be establishing in this city to serve Christian's parents and their children in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Thank you! I can hardly wait to start. But while Victoria may be dead, my niece Debbie and her mother Sandy are still very much alive. They are also to blame for my troubles. And mine too. But let's focus on setting up the new school for this coming school year. Ah, Nicholas Owen. Congratulations on being ordained as a Baptist minister. Yes. Just like my father before me. And thank you for hiring me and Lee Lord to be your new school's teachers. We will make a strong conservative Christian community in this metroplex area soon enough.